I wanted to film this even even though it'll come out a little later than than when I actually reached the milestone which was yesterday but you guys I just have to say thank you so much we've reached our first milestone we're now monetized so man I can't say how excited I am for the future of this channel and and the things I have for prepared and uh, the vision I have for, for, for this channel going forward. So I know you guys have been watching. Now that we're gonna get those magical Google dollars. If you like the content, throw it on the TV and let it play through even if it's not your cup of tea that day. Like maybe it's not gonna be, every video doesn't appeal to everybody, right? But it does me a huge favor if the video plays through and it goes through the ads and and then people watch it like it tells the algorithm to promote it to other people so i'm gonna just keep on trying to vary the content to appeal like make something that that you know everybody can enjoy and smile that's the goal so we'll have loads of different content for people and i'll try not to bore people with too much language stuff but I love it so we're gonna be making more and more and more clips that are language oriented not only for people to learn Lao but for Lao people to learn English we got lots to do guys how do I look I feel fresh at 90 Eli no Lao ba chai ba Lao ba ba chai ba so I was thinking about that word and yeah, I'm still curious. You guys put in your translation because law means handsome, right? And but I usually use it for like to grieve, you know, if somebody says something like, oh, man, it's like you're grieving, it hurts, like cutting your heart, but is usually like a cut and then your heart, jai. so what, you're, you're, you're so handsome, it hurts. <laughs> I like it. Got a fresh shave. Got the haircut. If you're coming to Laos and you want a haircut, look, even got the prices up there. But it's uh, 30,000 for the haircut, which is $1.50. And uh, what did he charge me? 10,000 for the shave. So that was pretty cheap. Actually, that's really cheap. Usually it's 15,000 if I just get a shave, which is like 75 cents. Uh, it's a great deal. I enjoy it. And you know, it's pretty easy. If you saw in the barber shop, they have pictures along up on the ceiling, so you can even just pick a picture if you're like, I don't know how to talk to them. I don't know how to describe it. There's pictures, you can choose a picture. So there's option number one for an easy way to get a haircut if you're a tourist here. Uh, and the next option is pretty easy as well. You just tell them the number, because they understand that. We, they actually use the, the English, the end of the English word for the word number. So if you're talking about like a phone number, b, b, to, to is to call, so b is number, number call, phone number. Uh, so b for everything. So number, you hear the word number, right? You're like, how is that the same? Number, b, and they pronounce it b. So you can say b for the comb you want. And so, you, oh geez, they just went the whole carded. Anyway, yeah, so the sides would be kang kang. Kang Kang sides and just like normal language you know most of the time we don't speak in complete full perfect senses right in linguistics they call it a tag question we speak usually in phrases so you'll say like Kang Kang the sides ow remember when you want something you're asking for something ow just like you're like I'll take I'll take something when you're going to buy something I'll take I'd like Kang Kang I'll be, I'll take the number and then whatever number. Nung song sam si ha hokjet bad kao sip. I don't think we have that many numbers for combs, do we? What is the number for combs? Anyway, I asked him actually if he could do a high fade and he said he could. I don't know how close it was. It is to a high fade, <laughs> but uh, a lot of shops they'll know like the typical haircuts as well. Let's walk to the market because I need some food. Actually, 
I was thinking about getting some something a little different today to show you guys because I've been in the market every time and usually you'll see these shops on the side of the road as well like people selling out of their homes where I buy my grilled pork on the skewer all the time but they'll have loads of different grilled stuff and I feel like some grilled meat maybe some uh some papaya salad what do you guys think should we go for that let's do it all right I don't know, he's like really struggling to understand me. <laughs> Sometimes people just don't register when you're speaking to them in Lao. Uh, when they look at me. Well, they don't have any, so they don't have any coming home. No papaya salad. He said, Mac, Mac, ka, ka, weird. Mac, ka is the vendor, seller, right? If it's a woman, ma, as in mother, commerce, ka. And then, ma, ka, ka, weird is to be, you know, stuck at work, stuck working on something. You're, basically, you're just saying they're busy. They're busy, so you say, oh, I'm busy. Somebody's asking, oh, I didn't see you at the gym yesterday. Oh, how we are you? Uh, I was busy with some work. Well, she'll have some time at home. All right, we're back at the market anyways. I want to support another shop, so I order from the same shops every day, but geez Louise, they make good food. You know what we haven't had? Let me show you guys some good food here. All right. We're gonna get some sai hua. We're gonna go for some traditional Lao sausage, which is stinking good. You want some, come to the market. Han shop, bit jai. Bit jai, it means like when you're like uh, hooked on something. So that's the name of her shop. Sai Hua is sausage. So let's get some sausage. She's got lots to offer. And I am curious the difference between them. But I some sausage and sticky rice. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> you guys haven't noticed I'm very partial to grilled barbecue anything grilled the bar the grilled meats and then some other spicy food with it so we're gonna stick with the traditional grilled barbecue meats for today and then we'll get some high salad I think you guys remember how to order I think you do we'll uh We'll ask her the difference between she got a bunch of she got like grilled pork and stuff. I've never had that before. I don't know. Mamua. I just learned something new. It's she said it's seen pontap, so it's meat mixed with uh tap uh mixed with liver <laughs> I can always get tap and die mixed up kidneys and liver but tap is liver so me mixed with liver yeah long yeah long uh onion long onion 
She marinated these meats here, she's saying. Mak mak yan. Mak I'm trying to figure out what spice they're using. So it's, they use some sort of seed, or they're saying like it's like, yeah, seed, mid, to spice this right here. They marinated it in this. Uh, so it smells really good. Let's smell it. Hello, how are you? <laughs> oh, I feel really weird putting this in my face, and <laughs> I better buy it. I guess we gotta buy it now. Song, song, yangi, kukan. Oh, these two are the same. I'm gonna have to try it now that I've like fondled it. But yeah, it smells really good. I've never tried this, but anytime you've marinated some meat, let's give it a shot. Ow. I'm gonna ask her for a spicy one. So to say that, you say I like how on the general classifier. Uh, you, there are specific classifiers for most things, but we're gonna use the general one to keep with the lesson that we've been learning. How uh, on pet pet ananda. So we want. One spicy, spicy, really spicy. Nice and spicy one. How on pet pet ananda. So if you want to be descriptive about it and you don't know like what it is, you can use that classifier. You're like, oh, the one that's like spicy and sweet or all oh, the one that's like blue and round. Yeah, so yeah, like an si fa fa kom kom would be like the one that's blue and round. So if you want just like, oh, I want the one that's spicy and or you don't know the name of the sausage. Oh, you know that sausage is like long and spicy. You could say an pet pet nyao nyao. So yeah, you're doubling up the adjectives too to kind of be like, it's longish, it's spicy-ish, it's spicy. Yeah, so we're gonna take one of these for sure. I'm pointing to it, can you see it? <laughs> Let's see which one she says she has on the sign here since we're here. Sai Hua. Song Kun Pet. Song Kun Pet. Sai Hua Song Kun Pet. Sai Hua Sun. Sai Hua Wan. Bing News. Sun Sam. Sun. Oh wow, she's got three, the three layer pork. I don't see it. Is that this one? Maybe it is. I got that for breakfast though. It's, it's really good, but it's very chewy. It's like a workout. That, uh, <laughs> I think it's a lot of fat in that meat, but it's delicious. I just learned something new today. Mom, see more. The one that I'm not a huge fan of. It's like, well, pia. Okay, guys, I, we talked about pia a little bit. They like to put it in lab a lot of times. There can be lab pia, specific lab, just. And the pia is this sauce made from <laughs> the bile, I think. Uh, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> but to each their own. Some people love it, and it's a very traditional thing to have in here. I want an pet pet anangda. Oh, I don't know. More pet, more sad. Hold on, huh? Do them now. Did you guys see how much? How do you ask how much something is? Hold on, no. I put. If I'm. Call me that. Uh, call, I'll have I'll have So she said, do you have rice? And I usually just have rice at home, but... Uh, call me you. Me you lot. Me you hun. Uh, uh, do that, do that. <laughs> I have some at home. I always have some at home. 
they'll ask you how much rice you want rice and I said I'll cow and then you tell them how much you'd like and they'll weigh it out for you so I'll cow happen which is like probably enough for one person five thousand worth so, what I know 44 a little over two dollars for all that stuff I will be full we'll get some uh, other little like tamahun because this is a traditional traditional lao meal or at least like for me all these all the stuff you see here would be traditional in a lao home but i don't know how tell i do it for me like the most traditional and like my my last meal <laughs> if you will and what i always think about when i think of lao is just like loads of grilled meats Tamahong, loads of different stuff. Hi. 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 One of my favorites, as you guys know, the rambutan. So we're gonna get one kilo. How long under? Thirty-five thousand per kilo, she said. I'm gonna show you guys how to order some tamhung because we see shops all over the place in Lao that are specifically this type of salad shop that are made with the pestle and mortar so let's do that i'll show you oh <laughs> <laughs> I asked him if it's 35 because it's almost never like right on the dot. He's like, Yeah, it's 35. I was like, Exactly. He's like, Actually, we added more so it's over. <laughs> They're always so fun to ch chat with. Uh, and then she said, and then most of the time people in Lao are super polite. Like if they're eating or doing something and like not assisting you or like paying attention to you, whether whether you're passing them in the street anytime, like if you make eye contact, they'll most likely be like, uh, tell you what they're doing. It's an interesting, uh, very interesting part of the culture. Like if you pass somebody they're eating, they'll be like, Gin kao. Gin kao. or if they're like exercising, they'll be like, oh, come on, guy. just like, it's an interesting way to kind of say hello, just like, or let you know, like, I've noticed you, like, hi, but I, you know, I'm doing this right now, just to let you know. It's an interesting cultural thing, but almost always, which, which is actually one of the reasons I always tell people it's so easy to learn Lao and, and talk to people and get to know people, because you pass, people don't tend to ignore you, they tend to like, and if you're doing something, they tend to be like, Oh, you exercising? Oh, you eating? And then, yeah, it just starts a conversation. Pretty simple way to start it. Eh? Let's get some... Oh, I'm in front of my, my shop acting like I'm going to buy something and I need some tamahong. So, for tamahong, the way we order tamahong, somebody eats out. Yeah, it's my idea. Out tamahong there. So I gave you both options, now or do. And... The classifier for Tamahong is actually. She asked me how many. How many uh, chilies I'd like. Told her you don't gotta make it too spicy for me. I, I'll just be red cheeks and. Yeah. 
she asked me if I want the fermented fish sauce. I would all, wouldn't have it any other way. That's the only way to eat Lao papaya salad. But okay, there's a handicapped gentleman screaming. But, uh, we're all good, so. Oh my gosh. He wasn't screaming in the last <laughs> the last times I was here, so this I'm sorry, <laughs> I should have laughed. It's not saying anything though, it's just like <laughs> Okay, well, usually <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. It's probably got Tourette's or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting distracted by everything going on like usual. <laughs> but back to ordering. Die you know I Then what? Then what? You love a pumpkin and hand no? ไหน long youtube เจ้าโดยคนทางทุกทางโคนกับมักเบิ้งบางเฮียนแบบมีคนเฮียนภาษาเล่าแต่แล้วก็มีคนแบบสนใจเมืองเล่าซื่อๆแต่ว่าเอ
thumb, and then what do you want? Maghung papaya, you want bakmong, mango, whatever fruit. So ao, thumb, maghung, and then the classifier is this coke. This coke dung ne. Ao the maghung coke dung ne. Ao thumb bakmong coke dung ne. Thumb day, sad suit. Thumb thumb day. Someone no one. Asked her what kind is the best kind of uh, salad, and she said sour, sweet, and nua. <laughs> nua is from the word bang nua, which is MSG, but I feel like it refers more to like it's almost like your word that you're using to mean like delicious for, or it's a specific word used to like. When you're saying like, oh, make my salad like nua nua, it's like uh, really delicious. But it's more like, I think it's referring to bang nua. But a lot of times I feel like people are like, when they say nua nua, it's like, yeah, put in, put in lots of badag, not necessarily lots of MSG. But I could be wrong. So somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Because I always sit thought like, when I would be like, oh, they like, what, how do you want your salad? I'm like, I want it. Uh, I like it. You know, <laughs> local, nua nua, very badag, lots of badag and delicious. Okay, we're going to this Han Thumb because they'll be everywhere. This one is a bad example, unfortunately. I showed you in the other video actually too, though. So uh, Han shop some thumb. Yum sad. It should be thumbhung, not something. Something is a uh, is Thai, but we're gonna get the gist of it. Thumb. Here's the different salads they have. So you can do thumb maghung papaya salad. Uh, you can do thumb luong pabang, thumb kopiak. This is like a kopiak, so the, the the noodles. Uh, what else we got? Anything interesting? Okay, seafood salad. Uh, shrimp with shrimp. This one's with crab, with with squid. So you got loads, loads and loads, loads, loads. Everything. <laughs> these oh, these are a couple different noodles. I'll translate them all. Why why not? Why we're here? This is white noodles. This is the kalbik noodles. This is, and I, I probably got that wrong. I don't know the exact correct name. Is it vermicelli? I don't know, vermicelli. What, what kind of noodles are mikau? I think it's white noodle. Uh, then we got the the instant noodles. Thum, thum thon is usually gonna have like bits of, like the one I had in the last video. I sh when I tried the, when I tried that uh, papaya salad with those people getting the drink, that's thum thon, which is gonna have like uh, lots of bits in it. It's a mixture of like, It'll have some papaya in it. It'll have like, could have some chicken feet. It could have chunks of stuff. Don. <laughs> but yeah, that's our. Let me put everything in my bag and I'll be right back. Are there any salad shops? Man, people have like, we're getting into rainy season. At least like, we got people closing shops early all the time and it's just, it gets funny with rainy season, you know? You, you can't count on anything anymore. If it looks like rain, people might just close up. So I'm gonna go to the next shop down there to get my, my juice. <laughs> All right, guys. I didn't see another another shop. So, just to review, real quick, if you'd like to order some salad at the market, ow, thumb, whatever kind of thumb you want, thumb thumb bakmong, thumb don, thumb tale. Thumb magmong kadai. Thumb bakong kadai. And 
คบหนึ่งแน่เอาตำบังห้องคบหนึ่งแน่เอาตำบังห้องเอาตำบังห้องคบหนึ่งเด้อ Now we're gonna get some nam oi, like usual. Oh, nam oi. Oh, oh. Eat cow, lau na. Eating tam sabai. Next time they're eating. Well, the sun's going down on another beautiful day here in VNT, and guys, they didn't have any nam oi left. But I wasn't trying to bother them eating, anyways. But they they told me so. That's all right. I have, I love a drink after the gym. Whether it's fresh coconut juice, a sugar cane juice, or fresh fruit smoothie, it's just so satisfying after a hard workout. But I've got some delicious rambutan in my rambutan in my bag, and we've got loads. Of sausages and meats and a papaya salad to chow down on. So until the next one, guys, have a good day.